So I don't have a microphone for my phone, so I'll probably yell and that way you can hear what I'm saying. But I finally got a track plan done. It took me a while. I did a one-to-one -one photocopy of the track pieces that I did. I laid them all out on the table. Once I figured out what I wanted, then I figured out where I wanted the riser. Because I wanted to incorporate my Bel Air Viaduct and the Horseshoe Curve in Altoona, Pennsylvania. I incorporated a small yard for rolling stock to sit in. And I'll figure out the town and the houses and all that roads later. But I'll do you a quick run by on what I got set up. Okay, so the problem I had was I'm using an existing table that was used for a Lego train set. So I'm trying to build an N scale model railroad based on a table that I already had. So I had a little problem figuring out what I wanted to do. So I basically came up with two L shapes. The black line and the blue line is the main L shapes. So I got a double track on this L and I got the blue line is the other L shape basically. So the double track is elevated, the blue is on a flat. To get it on and off the flat, I got this green right here. So this will be coming off the elevated down to the flat. And the orange is going up to the Bel Air Viaduct bridge that I'm trying to incorporate that I really want to model. So this will take it back up to the elevated. This one, the green one brings it down, the orange one brings it up. I can keep everything on the flat, I can keep continuous loops on the top, and I put a small yard here. So let me show you what that looks like in real time here. So as I said earlier, uh, I did a quick one-to-one -one copy of the Kato track that I'm going to use. And then I cut them out and laid them around the table where I wanted so back there is going to be the horseshoe curve. It'll be continuous loop, whichever way you want to go. And if I want to bring it down, then I, I'll probably cut this a little less sharp. But it comes down and it'll go on the, the flat portion where the towns are and the yard right there. And I can keep it on the lower level if I choose then keep going around this L. Or I can bring it back up across the Bel Air Viaduct and back up onto the Horseshoe Curve, basically. So I can keep them up right there. I'm going to do a double crossover. That way I can switch from outside to inside and bring whichever train I want to bring down or keep up. So the horseshoe curve in Altoona, Pennsylvania is what I'm going to try and model on that back L. Of course, mine probably won't look this good in real, you know, this real life, but this is what I'm going to try to do here. This will be where my horseshoe curve will be. So it'll come up and keep coming up and then it'll just continue on a loop. So the whole loop like I said, it'll be continuous. It's just an L shape. And then I'm going to have a lower portion. Right in here will be a tunnel. So you won't see this section of track. This section here will be hidden. And then I'll have my small yard. But like I said, right here, I'm going to bring this. This is not going to be so sharp right here. Probably going to cut it across. And as I showed in the video before, um, model railroading ideas, I'm going to do the concrete bridge with the steel supports. And that way it's more straight. And I have more clearance under here. But then this one will take it up to the viaduct. And this one will keep it on the flat. So I can keep this continuous loop right here. Where I can take it back up to that continuous loop. And since it'll be a double track, I'll have a double crossover. That way I can go back and forth of what I want on the inside and outside. So I can bring both trains down to the flat eventually. 
So that's my track plan. So later on I will start mounting and gluing a lot of this down and see how it turns out. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe, like button, leave comments. Appreciate everybody's feedback. Thanks for watching.